Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people and seen by the YouTube algorithm. So thank you so very much for doing so. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Oh, and if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, beinghearttarot.com. So now let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels. The angels just wanted themselves to be heard. And spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading. Oh, goodness. And show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. Okay. So we are crowned here by the five of pentacles reverse. So the five of pentacles reverse is we're letting go of a poverty mentality. This is also going to be a time where we really start to feel that we're stepping into prosperity. It's like, oh, wow, I'm successful. It's like, wow, question marks, like looking around to see if the other shoe will drop. But there's this real sense here, Libra, of like, I'm successful. I'm moving away from doubts or fears or negativities or thinking, oh, I need to be taken care of or somebody needs to come and rescue me. And it's like, wow, I'm rescuing myself. And that is awesome. It's really releasing negative, you know, negative ideas about ourself and wealth, success, prosperity. It can always feel like it has felt for a really long time that we've said to ourselves, like, I just need a really good win, right? We've just felt like I just need a really good win. And for one reason or another, during this time, we're going to have a really good win come forward. And that's going to be really nice. It moves us then to the nine of swords. Yeah, a release of worry, of doubt, of fear, of anxiety. So that is very, very, very freeing. It then moves us to the knight of of cups. Do be mindful. This is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. If we're born in the cusp with Scorpio, if we have a lot of water sign energy in our chart or just water sign energy in our chart, we can overthink, we can overanalyze, we can really wear our hearts on our sleeves during this time, feeling like every way that we move forward, it's like an emotional roadblock is, is put up here, is put up there. We can be dealing with a lot of people who have a lot of really big emotions. Do be very mindful if you are somebody who works with emotional energy. You can be a healer. You could be a therapist. You can be, you know, a counselor. You can be, you know, even like even working in the ER or a medic or anything like that. You're going to find that this can be a very draining time if you are not mindful of, of your energy and protecting it, putting up, you know, the the white light of healing around you, that's going to be very, very important during this time. Even a teacher, you know, anything where you're giving energy to others. I mean, that's almost like everything, right? You can really categorize it as, so just be mindful about this. It moves us then to the strength card reverse. This is Leo energy, a time frame, July 23rd to August 22nd. So it's a lot of August, right? And we can find that there's bullying energy around us. We can find that there's energy during this time of a lot of people who want to have their way. They want to have their say. We can also be dealing with very cat-like people, not just not keep people named cat, but I think that's funny, but it's, it's like people who behave like cats, like they're, they're here when they want to be and they're gone when they need to be. And so, or when they want to be. So just being aware of that Libra, we don't really operate that way. So that can be a little bit confusing for us as well. So just being aware, also being aware during this time that we can be very kind of beguiled by people who put on a really strong front, like, oh yeah, you should listen to me. Oh yeah, I know all of this. I know all of that. And then we're going to like scratch the surface just a little bit and we're going to be like, well, what the heck? They don't know anything. So do be mindful about this. That's going to be very important. We then have the hangman. We're looking at things so differently during this time. It's almost like we're set free. It's almost like we were given permission to not be, be caught in a box, not to be stuck in a certain way of seeing things. And then it moves us to the eight of cups. We're choosing ourselves. We are choosing to walk forward for us, Libra. And that is a beautiful thing. This is also with the Eight of Cups is an ending as severe as a divorce, meaning that we're making a big decision during this time. And we're saying, I choose me. I choose me and I'm walking forward with me. And that is the most important, beautiful thing that we will possibly ever do for ourselves. So that is really quite great. We have the repeat of the number eight and eight 
is a very hardworking, very diligent, very logical number. So do be aware of that. So let's see here what Spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, please put a butterfly in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So hit that bell notification and note that the winner will only be announced on this channel via video. So just be aware of that. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Here we have tribulation and this is nettle. And so with that reverse, we're going to find that tribulations that we have had, doubts that we have had, fears that we have had, we're really starting to release and we're really starting to say, why was I so worried about that? Or why did that take up so much of my time? So that's going to be a really great thing for us. It moves us then to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides show me clearly. And here we have psychic development. This is our third eye chakra. And so just being very aware here that we're having a bit of blockage in our third eye chakra, tapping over our third eye can be highly beneficial to us. I'm doing it right now. It's just really soothing too. So I highly recommend it. And you'll see here that there's, there's a sense Libra of like, do I step deeper into my psychic self? Like, do I step deeper into my intuitive self, my empathic self, my emotional self? And, and spirits like, yes. And yet we're apprehensive because there's a question mark around us. Like, yes, do I do this? Do I want this? Can, can I move forward in this energy? So just being aware that we're a little bit like a little bit drained, you know? And of course we have a lot of emotional energy coming our way with the Knight of Cups reverse. And so here with the blockage with the third eye chakra, we can be doing this as a self-preservation thing where it's like, I have to take care of me. I can't be letting all this energy in, all this drain in, all this overwhelming in. So just being aware of that is going to be super important. So we want to develop ourselves psychically, spiritually, connectively, third eyes wise, you know, with visualization and really opening the door for ourselves, but also we, we are drained. So we need to find that balance. It's, it can be a little bit tricky during this time. Let's see what our energy to be mindful of is angels and spirit guides shown clearly. And this is the queen of cups reverse. So this is amplifying the knight of cups reverse energy. This can be around a very controlling mother, mother figure. I see this more as, as somebody who's like a mother figure or a close mother in your life, but it's like not your mom type of thing. So do be aware of that. It could be your mom, but there, there's like, it, it doesn't really feel that way. It feels like it's somebody who wants to have control. Like they want to have the last say, this is a person that needs to have the last say, and you don't even realize it. So just being aware of that is going to be super important. This is emotional manipulation. This is intense. So just, just being aware of that. And they're so good at it that you don't even realize that they're being emotionally manipulative. They're just being very like, oh, you can almost say like school mommy, like these are the rules and this is the way you have to do it. And you can like look at it that way. And then it's like, wait a minute, you're just being really manipulative. So just be aware of that during this time. We're releasing so much negativity and so much trauma around money or what we value as much as money. So there can be the sense during this time, it's like, oh, woohoo, I'm rich, you know, type of thing. Like, you know, just spend kind of like a drunken sailor. So do be mindful about that during this time as well. So don't do that. But here with the with the five of a pentacles reverse, we're coming out of a time where we felt very, you know, cut off, trapped, overwhelmed, you know questioning, can I even make it? Can I even move forward? We overthought, you know, with the nine of swords reverse, we overthought, we overanalyzed, we were so much in our own head, which is a very negative air sign energy thing. You know, we just overthink, we worry and worry and worry. We run over things like a hamster wheel in our own head. So being aware of that with the nine of swords and also just releasing, like during this time, it's going to be like, well, I can worry about this till the cows come home. Is it going to change it? And this is going to be a time where really seriously, Libra really embrace the energy of it's not me, it's you. <laughs> I know it sounds horrible to say, but I mean, it's not being, excuse me. <coughs> it's not being ignorant, but it's really saying like, well, I can't change this. And if you're going to have a problem, that's great, but I'm, I'm still going to be moving on and I'm still going to be living my life in joy. So, you know, it's not me, it's you. That's going to be, that's going to be a very good thing for you, Libra. With the, with the Knight of, of Cups, 
knowing that there's emotional manipulation coming forward is just going to be important. And knowing that somebody's going to want you to make a very emotional decision very quickly is also going to be important. So just knowing that, and they're going, like, this is an emotional decision that they want you to make quickly. Maybe not you, but somebody very close to you, if it's not you. But they're also being a very big bully about it. Like, they're, they're being, yeah, yeah, blackmaily. It's like bully, tyrant, blackmaily, you know, just like not nice, not nice about this. So just being aware of this during this time is going to be a very important thing. You're going to have really good inspiration coming from the most unlikely of places, but it's going to be the littler voices. It's not going to be the really loud ones during this time that you want to listen to. It's going to be the softer voices that you're going to want to listen to, but they're going to be, it's going to be very easy to drown them out with the strength card, with your tenacity, with your brilliance, with your strength coming forward, embracing that is going to be a very big thing for you. But here it is also, it is also, there's somebody who's going to make you think that you're not strong because you're not traditionally strong, Libra. This person is going to be like, you know, big bodybuilder, like, you know, I can talk over you. I, I can, you know, do all of this stuff type of strong. And there's nothing wrong with being a bodybuilder or, you know, having a booming voice, but this is going to be a person who uses these things like just intimidation as a tactic. And it doesn't even mean that they have to be, you know, a big person. They're just going to have an intimidating demeanor around them. And so here there's going to be a repellence around people who use their strength, who use like bravado and machismo and, you know, kind of just tyranty energy and saying, this is my strength and this is my right. So just being aware of this during this time is going to be very important. With the hangman, you're going to see things differently and you're going to be seeing things differently. And it's not going to be the most comfortable, oh, excuse me, the most comfortable thing because you're going to be looking at things, you're going to be questioning, you're going to be like, oh, well, what about this? And what about that? And oh, why, why do I have to stand out? Or why do I have to be different? Or why can't I just be like everybody else? And it's like, because you're meant to be you. And if you've stumbled across this channel, if you're here, first of all, welcome. You know, it's so great to have you. It's so great to have this community, but you're not meant to fit in. You're meant to be beautifully and powerfully you. And so here we're going to find that this is, this is a month where you know, things are different. We're embracing different energy. We're embracing power within ourselves. We're looking at things differently and we have to choose us. And we're going to walk away from certain things that just aren't right anymore. And we just don't need them. Our subconscious spirit message here is service and it's garlic. I love garlic. So here embracing service, embracing, you know, the intensity of us. That's a really good thing. And also knowing that this is a time of service. This is a time of connecting to your spirit energy. This is a time of your angel serving you. This is a time of spirit being with you. It moves us then to our chakra energy. And this is angels and masters. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. And this is us being blessed. This is our angels wrapping us in the biggest wing hug and just absolutely protecting us. So that is beautiful. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of, which is the eight of swords. Not surprising because we have the nine of swords reverse. We're coming out of this overthinking, overanalyzing time. And so we're being told, hey, listen, be mindful that you can overthink, you can overanalyze, you can get trapped in your own head, in your own mind, in your own way. Don't do it. Don't do it. Be aware that we can really start to internalize everything. Everything's our fault. We're not doing anything right. That's all just negative talk meant to bring us down. And it's not true. It moves us then to our subconscious tarot message, which is the nine of pentacles. And the nine of pentacles is prosperity and success, but it's standing in the moment. And we're going to be really good at being in the past, at being in the future, but having a really hard time standing right here, right now. And that is going to be one of the biggest challenges for this month. And one of the best things that we can possibly do to ourselves and for ourselves is to make ourselves be present and say, I only have this moment. I'm only standing right here. I'm only in paying attention to right now. Okay. All right, Libra. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. 
And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Libra. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.